Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Uh... Oh, Hermesburg is old now. Shame. Uh... Honestly, those ships are kind of... If you blockade them, you can win a lot harder. Look, I have... I'd have to defeat them first and then blockade them. And they are building a lot of battleships. And they have a lot better battleships than me. Unfortunately. Um... I just think I'm gonna go for their Mediterranean possessions and try the land invasions on them. So... Yeah, that design study's going on. Right now, I think we need to rebuild our navy. And that's what I'm going to try to do with our money here. So, improve director. Uh, we're going to reduce... Yeah, okay, so that's still the same amount. So, oh yeah, dual purpose mounts, please. There we go. So now that ship has a lot more anti-aircraft. Um, I think it's worth it to probably do the same to these guys too. Uh, five, four, two inch guns, dual purpose. So there, CAs getting upgraded. Uh, get the CL shortly, but I think it's uh, more worthwhile to try to get our uh, battleships rearmed with them. No. Rebuild Tyrol, uh, open Lisa for a rebuild, uh, four inch guns, double turrets, dual purpose, go up to 20. And we'll do 88. No. Yeah, we'll get our, uh, battle cruiser line here rebuilt first. So two inch four or not two inch. Two guns, four inch guns. Dual purpose. We can get you to eighteen. Yeah. Design is not legal. Oh, it can't do it if you have cross-deck fire. On the other hand, now it is legal. There we go. Uh, insufficient topside space. Okay, reduce it. Yeah, rebuild it. No. So apparently these slow battle cruisers are now being or now wanting to be classified as battleships for some reason. Ooh, more torpedo damage. Uh strong force. Yes. No, wait, no. 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 No to all. Go to build screen. 
So our Zarini class battleship, we're gonna build one for the moment. Uh, so I accidentally gave a air crew to uh, St. George, so you are no longer gonna have an air crew. And my bird wants to be on my shoulder. Hey, birdie! Bigger, harder. Oh, yeah, we do need more destroyers. Yeah. Um. I need to conserve on money there. Uh. Ah, because already we have a lot. A strong fleet of destroyers. But. We can go up to 2,000 tons. Got dual turrets on DDs yet? I don't think so. Let me uh, check research real quickly. Uh, superimposed guns? Super? No, I don't. Okay. Increase speed. Yeah, clear turrets. Uh, delete that mount. Delete that mount. I don't think we have quads yet. No quads. Give us a W. Give us a C. Director firing. Two of them. Uh, we'll go four inch guns so we can get uh, dual purpose. Single turret. Forward and aft first. Willing Nation has not researched dual purpose guns. Darn it. Five inch guns. Can we do uh, four inch... Uh, Yes, we can have a couple uh, extra f dual purpose 4 inch guns on here. I mean, I will have to change the ship graphic here. Alright, we do have a B turret and X turret. So we'll do, we'll do that approach. That'll be 15 torpedoes per side. Uh, other than that, um, do we want more anti-aircraft guns, or do we want more torpedoes? I think more anti-aircraft guns. In addition, uh, increased depth charge storage. Yes, that would be good. Mines. Good. Probably not minesweeper gear. I don't think we need need to bother with that on a destroyer. Uh, could increase speed to, like, 33 knots, just to uh, keep up with future ships. Wait for K-guns and dual turrets. We... N but 15 torpedo tube destroyers! Who knows when we're gonna go to war. I could build a small class of these, like four. It's not a bad des... It's not a horrible design. Although, what I could do is delete C. I'm... That just makes it look a little nicer. If I'm gonna be honest. Um... This will become obsolete the moment you get to... I think the thing with destroyer dual turrets is, uh... They cost... Or at least in World of Waves 1, they cost a lot more weight than, uh, singles. So, I'm not sold on going the dual turret route. So, I might just decrease the mass a little bit here. Besides, our approach right now is to get as many torpedoes in enemy ships as possible. And... Now we have larger destroyers, we can get them to be faster with some uh, decent anti-aircraft armament and decent sub-hunting armament, too. Um, so I say just make sure I have something here. Whenever... You have minesweeping gear whenever it becomes obsolete for battle fleet. It's useful for trade protection. What I might do is I might uh, refit it with that later on. Oh, apparently I can't have uh, light anti-aircraft guns anymore on it because I uh, changed its size to 1700. So, yep, those gotta go. Um... What I might do is I might do uh, three inch dual purpose and just do ten of them. Nope. Too many centerline gun and torpedo tube mounts. Oh, come on. 
eighteen hundred tons, nineteen hundred tons. Oh, it's still too many? Okay, I see your point. We're gonna increase the speed then. And increase the... We physically cannot jam enough stuff on this ship! Um... Extra torpedo tubes. Too many centerline gun and torpedo mounts. Come on! Yeah. Uh, no centerline X superimposed. Uh, do, uh, C and D as double torpedo tube mount. Oh, uh, not C. D and E. There we go. Now this is legal. And now let's increase that. Four inch mains, three inch second gates. Can't do four inch mains. No perp or no point in it. Um, the problem with that is that we haven't unlocked dual purpose guns for destroyers yet. So, yeah, shame. This is probably the best I can get out of this. But, you know, uh, 14 torpedo broadside ain't bad. That's, uh, if our main goal w against Britain is going to be use our torpedoes against them. Yeah, my researchers are useless. I'm Austria-Hungary. What do you expect? You shouldn't be expecting good research out of Austria-Hungary. just doesn't get any. All right, so then we're gonna do something like that 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 there we go then structure four will kind of be like a uh covered bridge structure five I don't know what. At least they have good insults. Yeah. I don't want to do structure five. Um, okay, so what we can do with structure five is start it there. something kind of along the lines of this. So, what we might do with structure 5 is just something kind of like go there, down there, down there, and then just have this center set of torpedoes, or not torpedoes, uh, guns be elevated. Like so. And structure six. Screw it, structure six will be that. Or alternatively, that guy. Got the T twenty class. And that'll take a couple of months. Now it's already obsolete. Uh so we're gonna take that design study and we are gonna redesign it. Um, they've developed a new flying boat. It is good speed, good range, it has good bomb load, better maneuver, better toughness. Well, they just made, uh, everything we currently have, or that obsolete. Rework the design, yes. Actually, you know what? No. No, 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 we're not going to. We're sticking, sticking to our guns. Give us two, for now. You missed the Serbian insult. 
May your wife give birth to a centipede so that you might spend your life paying for shoes. God. Alright. Come on. A fascist coup has taken place in Italy. That sounds like Italy has to die now, doesn't it? Um. Keep Tyrol on active duty. Uh. The Monarch class, you are going to need your double gun refit right now. Uh, no, 4 inch DPs, 20, uh, 94. You know what? Screw it, 24, and then 90. Oh, well, okay, we can't, can't do 24. 22? Nope, 20. Short range, that's fine. So, remove Mussolini and Ditalani. Uh, let's go to, let's go to Britain. Remove Torps. No! No remove Torps! Keep Torps! We are Torpedo. Or we are playing this as a Torpedo nation. We keep our Torps. Alright, so... Part of the problem is, these need to be 3 inch guns. We are going to put them in 2's. We are going to give it uh, 24 of them, though. Uh, dual purpose, yes. Uh, can't have all the light anti-aircraft anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. And we have plenty of extra weight. Rebuild the to get offs as well. And our first dreadnought probably should be rebuilt as well. 4 inch guns. Uh, Double dual purpose. Seventy two. Yeah. And that will be our battleship line being reconstructed. We commissioned two submarines, Lisa's back. In southwest Ar in southwest Africa. Southwest Africa. <sighs> Time to piss off Britain. New fighter prototypes are ready for evaluation. Good. So we do have more speed. Uh, we do have more range. Okay. So. Each of these has an advantage. The Lloyd 68. Maneuverability advantage. That's probably going to be better. The best of the three in battle. Loner 66. Speed advantage. Also might be the best in battle. I think that speed advantage is a little better than that maneuverability advantage. Um, that speed advantage is pretty good though. Mag 66, range advantage. I almost want to take two of them if I could. Um, like, do we want to go with the more greater speed or the greater escort range? But I like both designs. I wish I could select two prototypes. Get the loner and the mag. Yep, okay, mag. Yeah, probably best. Okay, develop that. Uh, yeah, three turns until everything's refit. We're also working on Zrini. Range for strategic utility. Yep. I think it is also probably a good time to start expanding our dock size again. Uh, I don't think Lisa needs to be active right now, or these guys need to be particularly active at the moment. Now, that all being said, we have some light cruisers to rebuild. So we need to b rebuild these guys first, probably. Um, yeah. That will be improved director. And now we are going to have a 4-inch dual-purpose secondaries. Ship is considerably overweight, I am aware. Not going to... Okay. Okay, we can't do that many. We're going to do 3 inch. Single turrets. Yeah, we can't do any, actually. Um, hmm. It probably is a good idea to try to get some, uh, dual purpose secondaries on this though.
like so, and then get some anti-aircraft guns, or get some light anti-aircraft guns too. Um, yeah, I think that is going to be the redevelopment of that ship. The Auroras are going to need a rebuild now. So they have maximum amount of mines. I think we're going to get rid of those. Um, double, double four inch, okay, double three inch dual purpose mounts I think are, uh, worthwhile on this. Maybe we'll get, I think we gotta keep the torps on this guy. Get rid of those. I will go down to singles. Yeah, if it's three inch it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, so we'll do something like that. So we'll have some singles. Oh, fire control's not the best available. Oops, uh... Yep, uh... Doop, doop, doop. There we go. So it's... Our cruisers aren't gonna have the heaviest of anti-aircraft armament. Our older cruisers, I should say. These guys need the improved director. This guy I can probably get decent armament on. Uh, so we're gonna go four inch, go double, dual purpose, director. Wait, can I do that? Nope, can't do it. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, eight. Actually, no, let's go twelve. There we go. This one, on the other hand, we can get rid of, or we can, not get rid of, we can get away with the uh, larger amount of secondaries. So the Helgolands, that refit's going to be good. On the other hand, we have to halt Zrini for a turn now. Yes, buy it, buy it, we need money. Uh, yeah, fuck you, Italy. Get it. Get it now. We now have a medium bomber being developed. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Yes? Did you say Pizza Pete? Rat? How you doing, Jasper? Sorry. Bird's being cute. Bird is... Bird's liking hanging out. Yes, extend it. All our ships are done. Uh, no to all. No to all. An improved version of our float plane scout. Yeah, get it. What kind of bird do you have? Pacific parrotlet. Okay, so what is our new uh, float plane scout? So that is that. That's our other one. Yeah, not not enough range. Is that those are all in development? Yeah, the meme bird. <laughs> all right, there we go. So now our battleships are back in service. So, mothball, you reserve, you guys. So we have uh, eleven carriers now. Do we have any uh, purpose or any ability to build a purpose built? Aircraft carriers yet? I don't think so. You're only for CVL. So one thought would be Carnton into a CV. I don't think I'm gonna. I know I just rebuilt Carnton, but on the other hand, she could make a good, maybe make a good CV. Let's see. I just want to see what a hypothetical Carnton C V look like. If any use, haven't seen a use, just keeping them developed as far you, as you never know. I think those are ones where you try, or where those can uh, go and bomb ships. Uh, oil firing speed, probably 28 knots. No, uh, additional, okay, flight installation, flight deck. Uh, 
uh, change type and continue. Two inch, two inch. The other thought is we don't have any torpedo defense on this, so we could bulge it and then increase the speed to 30. We could get 56 aircraft on Carnton, which is kind of a walking citadel. Oh god, that's... that's good. I think I should do this. No, I'm going to reduce that down to 54 here, probably. Um, but what I want to do is I want... Yeah. Yeah, I think Carnton as an aircraft carrier is a good idea. Because that's, you know, 54 air capacity. That's a pretty decent CV. So, single turrets for f single 4-inch guns. Uh, a single du dual purpose. Um, so, in 1945, better than major, if you have no ships to contest and invade, you can take over province pretty much in one turn. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, midships, too. I'll only go 150 rounds. Uh, yeah, this is promising right here. We are going to go and do this. Carnton, you're going to be a CV now. It'll take 14 months... It's going to cost a lot, but this will get us a decent, or half-decent CV here. Um, so, that'll... Asymmetric funnels. And oval on that side, that one on that side. 54. You know what? Hmm. That gun there is in a little bit of an odd position. Okay, come on. Just adjust it slightly over. There we go. Alternatively, I could do a double smokestack configuration. I kind of would like the look of that. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's move that back a little bit. So that leaves that spot for the uh, tower now. Okay, come on, move you over just slightly. There we go, cool. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. And then what I might do is I might now go back, or I might soon go back and refit Minerva and Schwarzenberg to uh, remove their 8-inch guns and then give them more planes. Although maybe not. Maybe I'll leave them with the 8-inch guns for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is... You're not going to go quite all... Actually, you're going to go... Maybe there. Oh, you are going to go over. Alright, then. So we have that. Might give you cheaper maintenance and bigger air wings. Ah! Uh, it's not going to give me bigger air wings. 
could give me cheaper maintenance, but this ship's already kind of pointless, and I think it would be good to get a nice CV going here. Actually, that's structure one. That should be probably structure three, I would think. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then what we can do from there is something like this. Plus, I mean, this save's already a mess. Um... But yeah, I do want the uh, aircraft carriers. 105 is best, 18 squadrons, 2 torpedo bombers, and 2 dive bombers. I think you actually get penalties for that. Um, so I'm not sure that would be best per se. You know what? I'm going to take structure 1 and redo it. So we're going to get some like, say that. That, that. And I'm gonna go up here and go out. Only to about there, though. And go back in. In structure two, what we'll do is. Actually, no, no, we'll start here. Do one kind of along the rear. One kind of up the side, a little bit like that. And we'll do something kind of like that. So then we'll do kind of out to there. Ah, darn it. Um. Okay, there we go. Don't. If you have catapults, you don't need to go into the window launch. I've seen no penalties. They just wreck an enemy fleet as long as launch is like based on where they should be. In the four waves, generally sink a capital ship and DB sink a cruiser or DD. Yep. If only I had catapults. Right, those need to be dual purpose. Oops. Uh, we're going to decrease the fire control to one director then. And save a little bit of weight. Where are you going, Bertie? Here. If you're gonna go there, you go up. Alright, so structure three, structure four is gonna be the center line thing. Um we're probably gonna let's see, one okay, so that's one point, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can only get two elevators in. Come on, game. Don't troll me like this. There you go. Light deck catapults under shipboard aircraft operations. Yeah, we don't have them unlocked. I've said that multiple times. We don't have all the technology. Our scientists are lazy. They should have gotten me to do the superstructures for the game. Sorry. Uh, okay, so structure five. Uh, structure five is going to be asymmetric. Um, okay, so what we're going to do for that is I want to do kind of these two here. These two funnels as a kind of 3D. 
So when we go like that, 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 that. Actually, you know what? No. Delete that one. We want to go to there. And then do the same here. Bam. 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 And a bam. First one's good, second one's a little less good. Uh, and then six will be our uh, tower situated right about here. Um, I'll bring six down a little bit there, and then down there. Six is oddly misshapen, but that's okay. There we go. So yeah, we are gonna... Yeah, some newer ships. Of course I then get purpose-built CV. Well, it's only going to take 13 turns, though, to get this, so... Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.